in Passion of the Christ when he falls down with the cross and, you know, uh, his mom comes up to him and um, he says, you know, um, I can I can renew all things. You know, I can renew all things. Jesus, Jesus says that in Passion of the Christ. Um, I can make, he says, I can make all things new. Um, so, you know, I do believe that once we get this, once we get this handled, um, or get better defenses, you know, there will be healing. Uh, the mind can heal. Um, what's happened with me is the, the remote neural manipulation with, uh, the trauma base, uh, like, so they trauma bait, they, uh, traumatize you, so they can do the remote neural manipulation. I've experienced this, so this is just pure fact. What they're doing is, um, you know, traumatizing you so much that you're so tired that your mind can start accepting uh, a lot of the signals, a lot of the uh, directed energy or electromagnetic frequencies uh, that they're putting around your head to remote neural manipulate you, um, you know, to um, actually inject, uh, inject, uh, re-inject thoughts, uh, you know, visuals uh, and things like that. But, you know, it, it does take a lot of torture for them to, uh, to actually start you know, start doing these things, um, so they, they've got to torture the hell out of you, um, satanic as hell, just satanic as hell, I mean, that's, that's all, I mean, it's just satanic, the satanic as shit, sorry for the language, um, but I am feeling a little bit, I don't know, I'm just feeling, um, you know, kind of, uh, you know, laughing about it, because th these people are so ridiculous, they have no souls and no conscious, um, I know there are people you know, in the system who are doing stuff, who do have consciousness and they're confused about things, I get that, um, but the people who, who know what they're doing, um, are just satanic slime, they're satanic slime, and I did spit on the screen, oh, and then it went dark, there we go, okay, um, let there be light, uh, but, <laughs> but I'm, I'm hanging in there, um, I kind of, I saw uh, Doctor Strange, and that pumped me up, that really pumped me up, you know, uh, and then a, a lady on, a, a, a beautiful woman with a, a great soul, and she's going through this hardcore, I think probably harder than me, um, uh, just a, just a fantastic woman, um, she was saying how, um, you know, she just learned to not live in her body, she's learned to live in the spirit. Um, to get through things, because she's hurt, they're hurting her so bad, and it just reminded me kind of of Doctor Strange, how, you know, it's a, it's about spirit, they, they talk about spirit, and it was just a, a great movie, it pumped me up, and kind of got me to where, you know, I'm thinking, I do, I need to live more in the spirit, I need to kind of, um, to not, not think about the materials that, you know, I may lose, or things about my body that, um, you know, are, they're they're kind of destroying or mutilating um and the body can heal um so you know we we shouldn't we shouldn't worry on that too much um but but we should live in the spirit and realize that you know there's something more than just our bodies um and there is a loving god factually i know it i know it um i know it i mean it's a fact uh he is with us there's a loving force a positive force in this universe that doesn't like this doesn't like the murder of innocence or life that uh, has been created uh, all life has a destiny um, you know all life has a destiny on earth um, you know there are natural ways that people die um, but when somebody uh, takes life uh, unjustly um, that is evil I mean that is evil and, and the loving creator of, of man in this universe um, it does not like that it is not on the side of that um, that is something evil that I would just call satanic, um, it's, it's, it's evil, you know, it's evil, it's just, it's the destroyer, um, you know, but I, I won't get too much into that, um, I'm kind of rambling on my video, I kind of want it to you guys, I just, you know, it helps me to kind of, because I am, I'm a little bit isolated from this, um, I'm so tired, and, uh, you know, I kind of hang out with my family a little bit, but, uh, mo I'm mostly, you know, um, you know, I do, I have a lot of, uh, you know, I have a lot of connections on the conference calls, so that does keep me connected, uh, to other TIs, but, you know, I'm isolated other than that, I don't go out a lot, so, um, you know, when I can talk on the videos, I can kind of get things out, and 
uh, and, and, you know, also talk about, you know, raising awareness and activism going on too. Um, so it's important for me, um, and I hope it's important for y'all. I hope it helps y'all out. I hope that, that something I say, say helps you to get some defense or, or get involved with some activism and, um, you know, do that for yourself. Um, you know, because uh, I know we're all hurting, but when you, when you get involved with something um, and you, you try and stop this, it feels a lot better. Um, you know, and a lot of people say that, um, you know, the, the people that are targeting them target them harder when they do stuff. Um, but I say don't rely on them. Don't do things by what they're doing. Go on with your life and do what you think is right because they're going to hit you whether you're, you know, sitting, playing video games all day or they're going to hit you whether you're doing a lot of activism and trying to get the word out on this. Um, you know, I, I do believe we can end this. Um, you know, there are some people uh, that, that don't, that, that think that this is just kind of locked in. Um, I do think this technology uh, is here to stay. Um, this technology is here to stay, but, but people can be aware of it, and it can be used and watchdogged. Um, they can watchdog this technology. There can be methods for measuring if somebody's using it uh, incorrectly or using it on innocent people. Um, so uh, we've got to think, you know, this technology and things that it can do are probably gonna, uh, probably not gonna go away. I mean, we're probably not gonna be able to destroy them, uh, but it can be done the right way. We can bring this into the light um, and then get the technology out uh, to the public, um, you know, to 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 use and to to make to help us all grow instead of uh, using it incorrectly um, and torturing a bunch of people and just using it for war. Um, it can happen. It w no, no, it will happen. It will happen. I, I change that. It will happen. Um, I have confidence and faith um, in that. You know, sometimes uh, it's it's been so long. Um, so uh, as a human, because I'm a human, um, you know, <laughs> I mean, we're all human. But uh, you know, as a human, you know, being tortured for so long and it not stop and it not being able to get help just you you do you start to have that feeling like you know this this is never going to end i mean it every day every day every day every day 24 hours they never stop never stop they can automate the voices oh wow you know automated software or ai or whatever you want to call it chatterbox you know they can automate a lot of the the uh you know um v2k and and targeting or whatever so that they're you know they can go do their thing and kind of just just have a couple of shift workers or whatever or hive mind teams whatever you want to call it um but but you do you you just you're human you got to fight that you got to fight that with your spirit um with your knowledge that um you know god is with us i actually uh got into the car and you know i don't think this was a gang stalking thing i think this was a synchronicity thing uh just natural synchronicity got into the car and it was a song about uh god not moving a mountain uh, when when you ask him to move a mountain um, and he doesn't move it, to know that he's still there, you know he's still there, and um, you know it may not be time for that mountain to be moved, um, but the, there will be a time when this mountain is moved, and it will be soon. Um, so we've just got to be patient. We've got to be patient. God God has some timing uh, that we will see incredible things, good things come out of this. If we just stay positive, um, you know, we get together with other positive people, we become aware of what's happening in our world, the corruption, and we stop it. Um, you know, if these things are brought into the light, people can be better, they can be, uh, you know, more informed and more safe. Um, you know, I know a lot of people, th this world is, is crazy and corrupt, and a lot of things are happening that are just intensifying exponentially. Um, you know, crime, and, you know, this is a crime against us, um, you know, basically corruption throughout our leadership, and, um, you know, really, really bad ideas coming from the top globalists, um, you know, philosophy of uh, depopulation and control of society, these things are here, you know, people... These writers, like the the writer of 1984, George or George Orwell, and um, you know Alice Huxley, um, A Brave New World. Uh, you know they they were writing 
uh, knowingly they knew something. They were part of a group that, that you know, had a plan uh, to do something like this. And so they wrote those, um, you know, fictional dystopian novels, um, you know, knowing that there was some kind of plan uh, to do this. They were part of those families. They wrote those books knowing because there was a plan for control. And they wrote like, and it's kind of like that, but it's not exactly like they wrote. Um, so they knew that something was coming kind of like this. And it is, it is here, control system, uh, you know, Big Brother is watching us all the time. Um, you know, so, but, but if we're aware and the people say no, um, you know, it may not be too late. No, it's not too late to turn this around. I've got to change that, guys. I'm sorry. Um, I do, sometimes I, I get negative and I'll be like, you know, it may not be too late. And I'll be like, you know, well, it's, uh, I'll be like, you know, this is going to be a hell on earth soon. Um, you know, I'll say that to my attackers. I'll be like, y'all are making a hell on earth. It's going to be a hell on earth. But then I, I think about it, I'm like, wait, it is a hell on earth. This is already happening. This is here. So, you know, it's so bad that sometimes I'm like, uh, you know, this is going to be bad. This is going to be bad, but it's already bad for everybody, and we have to stop it. Um, you know, so uh, so please, please watch Dr. Horton's videos. Um, there are a lot of other tar uh, good target individuals speaking out. Um, I wanted to say uh, Dr. Karlstrom. Dr. Karlstrom explains this very, very well. Um, I can't remember his first name. I think it's I think it's Rob, uh, Robert. I don't want to say that wrong. Do, do, look up Dr. Karlstrom. Uh, Dr. Karlstrom um, on uh, YouTube. He explains the system very well and how it's become corrupt and how you know the military complex has just started kind of you know contracting and. Um, you know, using all these technologies and, you know, uh, thinking of us as the enemy, as enemy combatants, uh, just citizens in our homes sleeping and, and eating and going to work, uh, how we're, we're enemy combatants now. <sighs> are they serious? I mean, are these people serious? Like, I, I just sometimes wonder, I'm like, how, how in the hell could you think like that? I mean, just, just, you know, have your family, take care of your family, protect them, do good in the world. How simple could it be? God gave us a glorious world. He gave us a brain to think. He gave us, you know, you know charities to work for, or, or may, even McDonald's. You can go to McDonald's and work. I don't know. You can go anywhere and make money. You can be a car salesman. You can be anything you want. Murdering people? Uh, and I mean, uh, you know, letting a technology control your morality, um, it's insane. Um, I'm sorry guys. I, I know I've been rambling on this video, but I, I did make the important announcements. Um, I'm getting to about 45 minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and stop it. Um, but you guys stay safe. I hope y'all are doing all right. I do love you a lot. Um, as a brother, uh, or sister, um, I love you. We are brothers and sisters in this. We're all in this together. We can do this. We can do this. Um, you know, every week we need to, you know, come at this from another angle. Um, you know, contact uh, local media. Um, you know, hand out flyers. Uh, look at, look at, uh, watch Dr. Uh, Horton's videos. I didn't give a lot of activism ideas out on this video, uh, but watch her videos. And I'm going to try and be more extensive um, and kind of list out, you know, things that we're going to do. But um, I'll give you more information on um, on Frank Allen's campaign in Washington. He's doing awesome work. He is, you know, helping so many people um, get on the conference calls because you know so many good ideas are coming up. Um, so many uh, very intelligent TIs are, are getting on the conference calls. Uh, you know, they're a lot more serious than than years ago when it was when it was very very difficult. Uh, the push is becoming a reality. The push is becoming a, a reality, and we're doing this. So God bless all of y'all. Um, you know, God bless me. God help me. <laughs> God, God help us to deal with this. Um, no, but seriously, um, you know, God is on our side, and we will see miracles. Um, he'll come through. He'll come through in ways that we don't know, and it's in his timing. So, you know, be patient and act. Uh, be patient. Wait on, don't, you know, wait on God in your heart. Uh, and act on the earth. Act and and, and do uh, you know? Let's 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 do this from all angles, guys. Let's do this. We can do this. We can do this. We can beat evil. 
we can beat evil. Um, there's, there's greatness in the world. Y'all are great. I love y'all, and I'll see you on the next one, guys. All right.